Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do the iReal text. You see me doing my iReal thumbnails. So, with all that being said, let's just turn to the video. Alright, so the first thing you wanna do is go into Photoshop, go to File New, and pick 1280 by 720. And then, what you wanna do is open up this iReal layer style pack. I will leave this in the description. But if you can't get it from the description, just let me know in the comment section. But when you open it up, what you wanna do is click on whatever layer style you want. So I'm gonna just click on, um, let me see. I'll click on purple. You wanna hit control C, come over here, hit control V. And then I'll click on blue, control C, near control V. So after you got it in, you wanna go across with the horizontal type tool. And once you do this, just type what you wanna put. Um, I'm gonna just type some to make. And then <clears throat> go back to the tool, go to this fire I real text like so and just make the bottom one bigger. I always do my bottom one bigger and then do my top one about a size like that and bring it down. So you want to hold control and then pick um both of them make it a little bit bigger like so. And then hit control J, bring this under. And with the arrow key, just bring it down like this. All right, so now that you got that, you wanna hold control and get all the layers and group them. And then hit control J on the group. And then make sure you hit control E to merge them. Now you wanna click on that right there. Right click and go to warp. And then you wanna go hit arc. And you wanna do an arc like this right here. Just some basic like this. So after this, what you want to do is go to blend options and then make a drop show, something like that. And you want to hit control J, create a new layer and then hold control and pick the other layer and hit control E to merge it with that layer we just made. Now what you want to do is right click, convert this to a smart object and go to filter. Then you want to go to magic bullet looks. All right, so now that you wanted this, you wanna make sure you got the fusion. And to add the things, you just go to the side and find them and drag them down. I got a video on how to use these effects. But you just wanna up your sides. Make sure your glow is at 100. And yeah, you wanna mess with your gray also. So you can do something like that. I'm gonna take lens distortion off and make sure you have on um, chromatic aberration. Yeah, and just have something like this. Then you wanna hit finish once you're done adding the stuff to it. Now what you wanna do is go to filter, Topaz Labs, and do Topaz Adjust, and then you wanna click on My Details and just hit Apply after. So after you got that, it should look something like this. Let me put this behind so you can see. So it should look something like that right now. Now what you wanna do is hit Control J on that, then go to Filter, and blur and just hit blur not that go to blur and do guys and blur do something like this then click on lighter color and miss the opacity after this create a new layer hit be on your keyboard to go to the brush tool and hold alt click and then click like the colors so you want to pick the color and then just put it down with the brush so do this around the whole image. Like so. Then you want to go set this on screen. And yeah, do the opacity like that. So now that you got this, what you want to do is go back down to the bottom layer, go to blend the options. Then you want to go to outer glow. And you want to set it like this right here. And let me see. Set the color to white, mess with the range. And then you wanna do the opacity like this. So now that you got that, it should look something like this. And I'm gonna put a background on here so it can look a little better. All right, so now that you got your background, it should look something like this right here. And you can see if you need to up this a little bit more or do whatever you need to do. But let me just lower this a little bit more. So, 
Go to blend options, mix with opacity on here. But basically when you're done, it should end up looking like that. And the last thing you really need to do is go to brightness and contrast, create a clipping mask, up the brightness on that. Go up here, go to vibrance, up the vibrance to saturation. And then you wanna go to your levels and mess with that also. And basically now that you got all this, you're pretty much done with your ticks. And that's how you make our real ticks. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Being what Dragon. Peace out.